First things first, it looks like there won't be a season of American Horror Story airing this fall. There will be, however, a new Ryan Murphy horror show airing this fall on FX by the name of Grotesquerie, which seems to be taking AHS's place, at least when it comes to your TV guides. So this video's got all the details on Grotesquerie, as well as the early murmurings regarding AHS 13, plus further updates on American Horror Stories and other adjacent projects. So strap in and let's start with the newly released teaser for Grotesquerie, which gives us the first official look at cast members Niecy Nash Betts, Travis Kelsey, and Michaela Diamond. The teaser, much like the recently released primary poster for the series, places an emphasis on the religious aspect of the series, contrasting it with imagery of gruesome crime scenes. There's an obvious connection here to the promotional campaign and contents of AHS Asylum, but it's clear that, at least stylistically, Grotesquerie is aiming to be something different than American Horror Story. FX also released a broad synopsis of the series, so I'll read that while you take in some more of this imagery from the teaser. So the Grotesquerie synopsis is as follows. A series of heinous crimes have unsettled a small community. Detective Lois Tryon feels these crimes are eerily personal, as if someone or something is taunting her. At home, Lois grapples with a strained relationship with her daughter, a husband in long-term hospital care, and her own inner demons. With no leads and unsure of where to turn, she accepts the help of Sister Megan, a nun and journalist with the Catholic Guardian. Sister Megan, with her own difficult past, has seen the worst of humanity, yet she still believes in its capacity for good. Lois, on the other hand, fears the world is succumbing to evil. As Lois and Sister Megan string together clues, they find themselves ensnared in a sinister web that only seems to raise more questions than answers. The full cast that we know will appear in Grotesquerie includes Niecy Nash Betts, Courtney B. Vance, Leslie Manville, Michaela Diamond, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, Raven Goodwin, and stunt casting of the year, Travis Kelsey. Of those cast members that have been announced, three of them are previous collaborators of Grotesquerie executive producer Ryan Murphy, with Niecy Nash Betts previously delivering an iconic performance as Denise Hemphill in Scream Queens, as well as an Emmy-winning and Golden Globe-nominated role in Dahmer. Courtney B. Vance previously teamed up with Murphy in the inaugural run of American Crime Story, where he played Johnny Cochran in what also ended up being a role that won him an Emmy, as well as earned him a Golden Globe nomination. Raven Goodwin previously appeared in the Murphyverse as Sheila for a three-episode run on Glee as well. Grotesquerie was first announced back in February when Ryan Murphy shared an audio-only teaser featuring the voice of Niecy Nash Betts, along with its original logo, which has since completely changed. We now know that Grotesquerie will consist of 10 episodes, and it will begin airing on Wednesday, September 25th on FX at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Some additional posters have also been released for the series, which, as you may have noticed, is taking the time slot that is historically reserved for an AHS season. With its similar themes and genre, people are asking some valid questions, is this potentially FX testing the waters for a potential AHS replacement if they decide not to renew it past season 13? But of course, this is all speculation at this point, but speaking of season 13 of AHS, let's go ahead and transition right into that, and unfortunately none of what we will be discussing about the season is concrete, but if you like rumors and speculation, boy oh boy, stay tuned. One rumor that sent fans into a tizzy recently traces back to this post, from Instagram account Horror Story News, which every now and again claims to have exclusive inside scoops regarding the show, so please take it with a grain of salt and I will tell you what I think of this rumor in a moment. But the rumor claims that season 13 will follow in the footsteps of season 12 in that it will serve as an adaptation from a novel. 
According to the rumor, the novel that the AHS team is eyeing is not yet known to the source. It could even be a novel that has not even been released yet, as was the case with Delicate's source material, Delicate Condition by Danielle Valentine. The subject matter of the novel, though, according to the rumor, closely resembles certain aspects of AHS Murder House. The rumor also states that although a summer 2024 production start date was initially slated, it has now shifted to enter production in 2025. Alright, now here's what I think of this rumor, and I have to say I don't really believe it in the slightest. Not that I wouldn't put it past the show after what they did to us with Delicate, but at the very least I really don't want this to be true. To me the rumor seems to actually say next to nothing while including things like, like another Murder House similarity which seems like it was intended just to rile up fans who already criticized Delicate for being too similar to seasons like Murder House. And as you can see, the rumor comes with the caveat that everything is subject to change, so essentially, they have an out no matter how the season actually turns out, even though the information itself is so incredibly vague that it could mean absolutely everything. Because if you think about it, every season of AHS, in a way, is similar to Murder House. It was, after all, the first season. So yeah, this rumor to me is just nothing. Like, it actually says nothing, and it quote-unquote confirms what people People had already believed at that point that the season would not be entering production this year and instead would go into production next year and air next year as well. But because we have so little news on AHS 13, I felt like I might as well pass along this rumor even though, as you know, I don't believe there's any truth to it whatsoever. But feel free to speculate away about this in the comments. Take it with a grain of salt, because we truly know nothing about AHS 13 aside from the fact that it has not entered production at this point in time. Another thing you can speculate on is the potential for AHS 13 to be another full-blown crossover season in the vein of Apocalypse. Back in the day, Ryan Murphy stated that we hadn't seen The Last of the Witches. American Horror Story Apocalypse Part 2, we, want, we need our witches back. Uh, the witches will be back. Um, not next season though, but we have something really fun planned. It's an exclusive? I can't say what it is. I'm oh, going right. to this luncheon and many of the Horror Story actors are there, and I'm going to tell them for the first time, so I have to tell them first. If season 13 does indeed turn out to be the final season of the show, what better way to go out than with some good old-fashioned fan service? One thing that pokes holes in this theory, though, is that since Ryan Murphy has teased the return of the witches post-apocalypse, we have actually seen witches return in the AHS universe. We saw a earlier class of Miss Robichaux's Academy and a young Myrtle Snow appearing in the second season of American Horror Stories, as well as AHS Delicate, including a brand new coven of witches. So, in a way, the witches have already returned, so depending on how you want to interpret that Ryan Murphy quote, the prophecy has already been fulfilled. But to me, I've always envisioned a AHS attempting at least one more crossover season before it heads to the retirement community, and I think now is a better time than ever. For some added context on season 13, the only reason we even know that there will be a season 13 to look forward to at all is because all the way back in 2020, FX renewed the series, which at that point was already renewed for season 10, for the additional seasons of 11, 12, and 13. So because of that 2020 announcement, all of us AHS fans have been able to breathe for the past few years, resting assured that we had a ton of AHS ahead of us. But now that time keeps on passing, and seasons 10, 11, and 12 are all behind us, the question begs, will season 13 actually be the final season of AHS? Of course, there is no way we can say for sure at this point, I do think internally FX and Ryan Murphy know if AHS will continue past season 13, and we will probably know by the time that the promotional cycle starts for season 13, because I imagine if if it is the final season, they would want to promote it as such, and if it's not, I expect that they would announce a renewal for season 14 before or around the time that the promotion for season 13 begins. So while it's anyone's guess if AHS 13 will be 
the last season, I would argue that signs are pointing to yes, although I sincerely hope I'm wrong. Because as much as I'd like to live in a world where AHS can continue to flourish and define new eras of itself for another decade, it's just not realistic if things continue the way that they've been going. Recent seasons have had such inconsistent quality and a progressively weaker online fan presence, I can't imagine letting the show go on as is would be the wisest financial decision for FX. However, if FX were to agree to more seasons with strong oversight to ensure that we wouldn't end up with more half-baked seasons like the last three, then maybe I can see a world where AHS could get its groove back. They're probably eyeing a fall 2025 release date for AHS 13, assuming that Grotesquerie isn't such a breakout hit that it demands a second season that will take priority for that fall time slot. I could also see a world where AHS 13 airs in the first half of 2025, sort of like how the last four episodes of Delicate aired in April of this year and proved that the show can still pull similar numbers in the spring as it does in the fall. A third option, which I think is the least likely, but it's possible, uh, the season could air in the summer of 2025. But anyway, let's wrap up all that wild speculation and move on to something we have some more concrete pieces of information about. One of those things being the next batch of episodes for American Horror Stories. As you may remember, production on the third season of American Horror Stories was interrupted during the actor strike of 2023, and it resumed later that year around November alongside AHS Delicate's second part as both shows were filmed simultaneously. Due to production being split up though, rather than dropping season 3 with the weekly releases like they had done with the first and second seasons, Hulu decided that they would drop the four episodes that they already had in the bag before the shutdown as a one night Huluween event back on October 26, 2023. As I mentioned earlier, this was the one that made the charts. Evidenced by that, it seems that that release strategy was successful, so Hulu will probably attempt another American Horror Stories Huluween event with the remaining five episodes of season three. There's no official word yet on the release date for the next drop of episodes, but if they are aiming for a similar drop to last year, where the episodes dropped on the Thursday before Halloween, the day that matches that description this year is October 24th. So, chew on that speculation while we await an official release date. These are the remaining episodes of Season 3. I've covered these episode titles at length in other videos, so read them for yourself and go back to other videos if you want to hear me speculate about them. Elsewhere in the Ryan Murphyverse, we had AHS, we had ACS, we had AHS again, and now we are finally getting the long-awaited ASS, as American Sports Story will premiere on FX on September 17th. It's an AHS spinoff that I'm sure only 5% of AHS fans would actually be interested in, but it's technically a part of the franchise nonetheless, so I figured I'd mention it. Additionally, in other news that may concern you AHS fans, Sarah Paulson and Ryan Murphy are reuniting for the first time since 2021 in one of Murphy's several new shows. This one is called All's Fair, and it is described by Ryan Murphy as a glossy and sexy adult procedural. The series, which takes place at a law firm, also stars Nisi Nash Betts, Kim Kardashian hot off the heels of Delicate, Glenn Close, Naomi Watts, and Tiana Taylor. Who knows, maybe this rekindling between Sarah Paulson and Ryan Murphy will result in Sarah being down to make one last appearance in AHS in season 13? We can only hope. Alright, with that, I will conclude this news report. Make sure you subscribe for more updates on your favorite horror properties, as this is just the beginning of the AHS news cycle, and you know I like to stay on the pulse of all the news regarding AHS. So, subscribe for further updates, as well as two very long-form videos that I'm working on right now that will soon see the light of day. Thank you for watching till the end, and I will see you next time.